Charlie and the Chocolate Factory thinks anything other than I'd love a never-ending gobstopper, Grandpa. Listen to me, John. It's Jack. They're trying to keep children young. Adults, publishers, bloody writers. They don't want children thinking for themselves. They see children as a threat. They want to keep everything fantasy. This J.K. Rowling woman, she's the enemy. She should be taken out, erased, removed, exterminated. So that's what you're doing in the Harry Potter chat room. Try to draw up some interest in the assassination attempt on J.K. Rowling. Well, are you interested? God, I've got to do my geography homework. I'm a Roman Catholic, and it's last Easter. And uh, and every year our parish does a big passion play in our local church. My mother's very active in the church. She's a Virgin Mary. Which would make you Jesus Christ? In the passion play, she's a Virgin Mary. I understand. And my whole family get involved. I've got three older brothers and they're Roman soldiers. They're very broad. Not like me. And they look the part. <laughs> anyway, this year. And my mother runs into my room with her terrific news. They want me to play John. Well, John's a great part. But I'm not like that at all. I'm just a sack with no bottle who knows nothing. So I'm watching that video after not seeing it since I was six. And I have to say I felt betrayed by Brittany. You know how our songs and videos were all about that journey from girl to woman? Yeah. And it sort of felt good, didn't it? Like Brittany was part of the puberty. I remember getting my first period and listening to I'm not a girl, I'm not yet a woman. And thinking, thanks Brittany. My sentiments, exactly. She felt like a sportswoman. Oh, definitely. But as I watched Hit Me Baby one more time and all that sexual stuff with her tongue and just how cropped that crop top was. Was there belly button pierced back then? Probably. Sorry. Go on. I got really angry over that betrayal. It's no longer Brittany who's talking to us, but some pervert record producer who's got this plan, this vision of turning every six-year-old girl in 